pronouns. Give me four pencils. Do you want a sharpener and an eraser also? Yes, you can give me an eraser. I want it for my friend. She doesn't have an eraser. What else do you want to buy? You can give me a chart paper and glue also. I don't want these for myself, but for my neighbors. They wanted both the things. In the dialogues, the girl and the shopkeeper have used several words in the place of nouns. The words me, you, it, I, she, these, myself, they are examples of pronouns. Definition A pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun. Let us look at a few sentences. Richa saw Zuman standing near the bus stop and waved cheerfully to call her. Anu met many people on the cruise and could not forget them for a long time. Udit's teacher asked him to explain the topic to the class. In the first sentence, her is a pronoun as it is used in the place of noun suman. In the next sentence, them is a pronoun as it is used in the place of the noun people. In the third sentence, him is a proper noun as it is used in the place of noun udit. Here is a list of some pronouns. This, these, that, those, mine, myself, his, himself, hers, herself, we, us, theirs, themselves. Personal Pronouns Father, would you like to have a cup of coffee? No, please, give me a cup of tea. I am making an omelette. Should I make one for you too? Yes, please do. My friends are coming over to meet me. Can you make something for them too? What would they like? Tea or coffee? Please, make tea for all of us. In the conversation, Father and Anu have used many words in place of a particular person or group of people. The words you, me, I, them, they, us are examples of personal pronouns. Definition Personal pronouns are words that take the place of a noun, that is, they are used in place of the name of any specific person, group of people, animal or thing. Let us look at few sentences. We requested Dinah to wait for us. Rishabh threw a ball and it went over my head. He is an excellent writer. In the first sentence, we and us are personal pronouns as both the words are used in place of a group of persons. In the next sentence, it is a personal pronoun as the word is used in the place of the noun ball. In the third sentence, he is a personal pronoun as the word is used for a specific person who is an excellent writer. Here is a list of some personal pronouns. Subject I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Object me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Reflexive pronouns Aman, your room is so untidy. Who will clean it? Mother, I will do it myself. I will ask Suchi to help you. Will you help Aman clean his room, Suchi? No, mother. Let him do it himself. After all, we should all do our own work ourselves. You are right, Shuchi. Both of you finish your work and come down to the kitchen. You can help yourselves to some cookies I have made. In the conversation, Mother, Shuchi and Aman 
have used some words which point back towards the subject of the sentence. The words myself, himself, ourselves, yourselves are example of reflexive pronouns. Definition Those pronouns that refer back to the subject in the sentence or the subject in the clause are called reflexive pronouns. In singular form, these pronouns end with self and in the plural form, these words end with selves. Let us look at few sentences. Suman insisted that she would complete the project herself. They decided to rent a car themselves and go for a tour of the town. Can you go to the doctor yourself or do you need someone to accompany you? In the first sentence, herself is a reflexive pronoun as it refers back to the subject, Suman. In the next sentence, themselves is a reflexive pronoun since it points back to the plural subject, they. In the third sentence, yourself is a reflexive pronoun as it is referring back to the subject, you. Here is a list of some reflexive pronouns. Singular, myself, yourself, itself, himself, herself. Plural, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. Interrogative pronoun What is that in your bag? That is a football. Whose is it? It is Karan's. I think you are waiting for someone. Yes, I am waiting for my friends. Who are they? Ashish and Karan are my friends. They are both late today. Whom can we ask when they will come? I will call Ashish. In the conversation, Raman is asking Varun a number of questions using interrogative pronouns. The words what, whose, who and whom are examples of interrogative pronouns. Definition Interrogative pronouns are words that are used to ask questions and refer to what the question is about. An interrogative pronoun takes the place of a noun in the sentence in which it is used. Let us look at few sentences. Which is bigger? Who is coming to school tomorrow? What do you want? In the first sentence, which is an interrogative pronoun since it stands in the place of a noun and is a question word. In the next sentence, who is an interrogative pronoun since it is asking a question and is taking the place of a noun. In the third sentence, what is used in place of a noun to ask a question and so in an interrogative pronoun. Here is a list of some interrogative pronouns. Frequently used, what, who, which, whom, whose. Rarely used, whoever, whomever, whichever, whatever, whatsoever, whosoever and whomsoever. Demonstrative pronouns This is so beautiful. Yes, it is. The flowers have been painted so realistically. But I like that more. Which one? The one with the black horse painted on it. Yes, the eyes of the horse are so gentle. True. Come, let's go and have a closer look at those in that corner. Both the printings are brilliant. I want to buy these immediately. They will be two spectacular additions to your painting collection. In the conversation, the two girls have used certain words to point to a specific painting or paintings nearby or some distance away. The words this, that, those and these are examples of some demonstrative pronouns. Definition In a sentence, demonstrative pronouns take the place of a noun. They are used to refer to both a specific singular noun and specific plural nouns. 
they provide information of time and space that is whether the noun or nouns being referred to is or are near or far away in respect of time and space there are only four demonstrative pronouns let us look at a few sentences this has a beautiful smell those are very expensive these are moving very slowly that was wonderful in the first sentence this is a demonstrative pronoun since it is used in place of a noun and refers to something nearby in the next sentence those is used to refer to a noun far away and is a demonstrative pronoun in the third sentence these is a demonstrative pronoun and used for a noun close by in the last sentence that is a demonstrative pronoun used in place of a noun far away in time here is a list of some demonstrative pronouns singular this that plural these those nearby in time and space this these far away in time and space that those